So tracking progress can be very confusing, especially if you feel like you're not getting anywhere, it might make you feel like you want to give up. Now, I have four methods that I use to track progress, especially when it comes to weight loss and transforming, and I use these to help me pick the winners for the six week transformation program. So the first one is body weight in pounds. The second one, a measuring tape. So you might need to go and get some scales and you might need to go and get a measuring tape. Then we use pictures and we also use a pair of jeans or some clothes that don't fit properly anymore that you've still got in your cupboard. So there are the four methods. Okay, so the first one, when we come to tracking your body weight, I understand that some of you might not have a healthy relationship with the scales. You might hate getting on them. So what I tend to do is try to get you to measure in pounds, change the settings so you're not used to the kilograms and you're not used to the stones. It might look a little bit confusing. I want you to then jump on the scales for three days in a row during a week, that's all. I want you to then add them up, divide by three to get an average weight for the three. So another thing that's really important is that you don't just get weighed at a random time. It needs to be in the morning when you first wake up, just after your first toilet visit to be consistent. Now, ideally that needs to be as close to naked as possible, probably in your underwear or something, just, but be, just be consistent. The reason it's not just a random once per week weigh-in, it's not a random Tuesday night, it's not just once per week, is because there's lots of fluctuations day to day, so it'd be really hard to figure out what you actually weigh. So what, um, what we do is get you to do it for the three days, and this kind of mitigates issues with water weights, hydration levels, how much food you have in your digestive system, how often you've been to the toilet, and also how much your clothes weigh. So you're gonna keep all, all that consistent so that we can get proper weight. So once we've got that average weight, we're gonna compare it to the week two, the week three, the week four, and so on. And it's gonna give us an accurate representation to whether your weight is going up or down. So later on, we'll figure out whether we need to adjust your calories by using these tools. Next is a measuring tape. So I want you to go around your arms, but flexed. I want you to go around your quads on your legs, but again, flexed, so it's nice and consistent. And I want you to go around your belly button and try to keep your belly as tight as possible and do the same each week on week two and week three. Don't be pulling the tape really tight so it looks like you've lost more weight. Just try to be consistent. And the next one is pictures. Now I know some of you, probably all of you, are freaking out at the idea of taking pictures of yourself in your underwear or in a pair of shorts but what I want you to do is bear in mind that only about 50% of the people that come on to coaching with me give me the pictures. So you don't have to worry. It's not obligatory that you pass over the pictures. No one needs to see them, only yourself. It's there as a tool. But one thing I can promise you about these pictures is that you will kick yourself. Everybody kicks themselves if you don't do the before picture. Because when it gets to six weeks, when it gets to 12 weeks, You'll look back and you'll go, Chris, I don't feel like I lost any weight. And I'll be going, oh, just compare your before and your after pictures. And you'll be like, oh, didn't take them. And then you don't ever have that real comparison from before and after, even if it's just for yourself. So for now, just go and take the pictures, keep it to yourself, and later down the line, you can do a comparison, okay? Another little tip while we're on pictures is you can get your phone, you can put it on the side, press film, turn sideways, turn front, turn back, and then take screenshots from it, okay? Makes it nice and easy. So next, I want you to go and raid your clothes cupboards. I want you to find something that doesn't fit, that you wish fitted or it used to fit because you've gained some weight, now it doesn't fit, okay? You're gonna put them on, you're gonna take a picture with them not fitting, so that's a pair of jeans and you can't do them up, great. It's only for yourself, remember. If it's a t-shirt and it's dead tight, great. If your belly's hanging out, even better. What I want to be able to do is compare that picture or what I want you to be able to do is compare that picture to the picture at the end and you'll be able to see the difference. And again, if you don't do this, you're just going to kick yourself for not having that before picture. Okay, guys, so they are the four measurement tools we're going to use. What we're going to do is check in every Sunday. Sometimes you won't be using all of the tools. You'll only be using an average weight tool, which is getting weighed three days but we'll be checking in every Sunday and we'll see how we're progressing. And later on, we'll work out whether we need to adjust the calories up or down or not. Okay, 
Good luck with doing that, guys.